Ah, that's so hot. This is the brand new Toyota Supra, a car that shares so many parts with BMW, it's as if the Germans said to the Japanese, So then guys, how many parts do you actually want? To which the Japanese said, Yes. That's why the new Supra sits on the same platform as the new Z4, meaning that under here you'll find a turbocharged 3.0-litre BMW straight 6 with a claimed 335 horsepower and 369 pound-foot of torque. That goes to the rear wheels via an 8-speed automatic gearbox. Right, let's have a quick look at the 2019 Toyota Supra. First off, I think the front end looks a bit like a fish. We have a lot of fake vents. I know that's been a very contentious issue with you guys. Fake vent there on the hood. Don't despair though, this is a tuner's dream, this car. So when you up the boost pressure and when you stick a new intercooler in, you just take these out and put some nice actual honeycomb vents in there. Down here, if we can get really low, there is a blanking plate here. And the reason that this lower section is blanked off is because the car was being cooled too effectively. The car was too cool. Just like, this is something that I found out my own scoop years ago, the Ford Focus RS. That was also too cool. So they took a blanking plate from a Ford Transit and put it on the Focus RS. Clamshell bonnets, always very cool. One of my favorite design features of the new Supra is this black A-pillar. It kind of makes the roof float a little bit. We've got twin exit exhaust. Does it pass the fist test? That hasn't been done for years, has it? Let's go for a double. No, no, I mean, just the tip. We have the almost exact Supra badge. The only difference is that this S here has been updated to be reminiscent of the Wehrseifen corner on the Nürburgring. It's a good looking car. It has presence. Jack, thoughts? I do like the rear. The only yeah. thing I'd say, and I think I mentioned it earlier, is I feel like the, the back end's a little busy. Little busy. You had an analogy. You know when you're writing something down and you know you're going to run out of space, so you try and squeeze it all in. Maybe you ever designed this, you needed a bigger bit of paper. Let me know what you guys think of it. Shall we have a look inside? Right, this is where I really wish that we had smell of vision because you open the door, it smells exactly like a BMW. That's because everything in here is BMW. BMW steering wheel, albeit thinner than in the Z4. BMW infotainment, although not the latest infotainment. BMW automatic shifter everywhere you look bmw the new supra should have been like oh wow it's a new supra but it's just like oh wow it's the bmw right underneath the bonnet you have the three liter turbocharged bmw engine obviously there are badges and logos everywhere uh ah that's so hot bmw here we've got bmw down there even the bonnet as well up here, BMW badge. Down here, more BMW stuff on the turbo. And also you have this, this is the chassis code, right? The VIN number, yeah. I think. This doesn't explicitly say BMW, but that's a BMW logo, isn't it? Yeah, that says BMW in there as well. I mean, it's cool, but... <sighs> right, so first impressions, driving the Supra, predictably, Everything's really refined. It feels like driving a Z4. Ride is comfortable, even in sport mode. What are your uh, your thoughts from the passenger side? Yeah, it's nice. It's just it's just nice. It's just nice, isn't it? But then again, we, we've only just got in it, so you haven't been flooring it or you haven't been no. trying to scare me or anything. Exactly. So I'm sure it's a different story then, but right now it feels like you can probably date this quite easily. Yeah. There's no denying it's quick though. <laughs> on the road, the Supra feels faster than the numbers suggest, which leads us nicely onto the main course of this video to find out if the claimed power and torque figures are actually true. I'm back at Sorry Rolling Road with Charlie. Very good to see you again, your sweaty hands. Oh wow, that, that makes a, quite a nice noise, doesn't it? Charlie, I've brought you the brand new Toyota Supra, aka the brand new BMW Z4. Uh, first time you've dynoed this car? It is, yes. So we should be looking for 335 horsepower, 369 pound foot. What are your predictions? So this is the B58 engine, uh, which is also the engine that comes in the uh, M140Is, although they probably changed some things in, in this. And they are notorious for putting out figures 
at way over what BMW claim. They're supposed to be 335. Even a poor one will do 350. They average between 360, 365. So I think this will probably do around 360. Let's go and find out. Well, so 376 horsepower is over 40 horsepower more than BMW, uh, Toyota claims. Tell me about the run. I haven't done one of these before. I don't think anyone in the UK has yet. Um, we've heard in the States they've been pushing huge figures. And the answer is yes. <laughs> they do do considerably overstock uh, and 410 foot pounds. Versus so, 369 claims. Yeah, I mean, I've probably done 150 M140s and, and that engine in various guises and um, it's comparable to probably being 10 over the average for those, for a good one of those, a standard. It does drop off a little bit at the top. It's, it looks like they're restricted a little bit. Um, they're restricting it deliberately to, to not make it as powerful. If you took that restrictor off, what do you think it could get? If you remap an M140, we're seeing 450 with um, exhaust and downpipes. So. Yeah. You know, there's a lot more power in these. So this is a tuner's dream, effectively. Yeah. They've chosen the engine well. If you buy yourself a new Supra, don't worry about it only having 335 horsepower and 369 pound-foot of torque, because you've got over 375 horsepower and 410 pound-foot. So yeah, definitely a wolf in wolf's clothing. Job done. Now that the best possible lie has been exposed, I want to talk to you a little more about how the Supra makes you feel. <sighs> I'm just not feeling that inspired, Jack. It's one of those cars that, when I was thinking about doing the driving section, I didn't want to sound like a car reviewer, if that makes sense. I wanted to talk more about the emotion and how it made me feel and the excitement and stuff. And I find myself just saying the same old crap that everyone else says. It just leaves me a bit cold, Jack. It's just good, isn't it? It's just, yeah, it's just good. But the good thing about the Supra is that Toyota have obviously left loads of parts kind of standard for tuners to come and take the vents out and let the car breathe better. They've left space for chassis supports. You could dial this car up to probably easy 450 horsepower and it won't bat an eyelid. Chuck an exhaust on it, it'll be an absolute weapon. But standard, it's literally just a blank canvas. Whereas with the BMW Z4, it's like, this is how we want to give you the car. You must not touch the car. Give this car, Jack, a score out of 10 for looks, for performance, and for emotion. For looks, I do actually quite like the look of it. I'd give it a solid seven, like a big seven. A big one? A big All seven, right, yeah. yeah. For performance, I think you'd have to give it an eight. And for emotion, I'd give it a three. <gasps> Personally, looks, I'm gonna go seven and a half, because I really do like the rear end. The performance, again, eight, big eight, because it is it is savagely quick. And for emotion, uh, I say four. It just doesn't get me. It doesn't excite me. It doesn't set my world on fire. That one extra point over my score is probably because you were driving it and I'm sat here. That's well. true, that's true. But you get to sit next to me, so you're always emotional when you sit next to me. So I want to change my score to a two. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you guys would give this car for looks, performance and emotion as well. I'd be interested to see your thoughts. Any final musings on the new Supra? <laughs> Is that something up? <laughs> I think so. I feel like all we've done is just bitch about this car. And I'm sorry for that, because I know loads of you guys wanted it to be the best thing ever. And it is, it's great. But it just doesn't get me emotionally, and that's, for me, the biggest disappointment about the car. It's brilliant, it's fast, it drives really nicely. But I've driven this car loads of times before. Every modern performance car feels like this. And it shouldn't, not with the Supra should be more special. So there you have it, Toyota lied to us in the best possible way. Anyway, to subscribe to Car Throttle, click on this link and don't forget to check out more videos 
down here, right? I'm going to go for a burn in my BM Toyota. Toyota. Boom! That's also BMW.